I just want to play a clip of this yesterday. We had uh, we have uh, libertarians call into this program from time to time. It all happens in the better half of the program where we take phone calls. And I wanted to share some of this uh, with you who are not members, just to give you a sense of what you're missing. <laughs> uh, it doesn't happen every day. And if it did, I guess it would get annoying. Uh, but this call was so dramatic at one point that both Michael and uh, Matt had to be physically restrained <laughs> from attacking their microphones. It was fairly stunning. Uh, but I'm, uh, I, I enjoy this call for two reasons. One is because of why, what uh, precipitated this call. And then two, because it was just another example of how muddled and disturbed in some respects uh, libertarian ideology is. But uh, it was also uh, quite amusing for me. But let's just play a clip just so that you, uh, you folks who don't have uh, the opportunity to listen to the better half of the program get a sense of uh, what went on. Just the first, uh, I don't know, the first uh, 50 seconds or so, whatever it is. Go ahead, Michael. Uh, Matt. Let's go to the phones. John from California. Welcome to the program, John. Hi, this is uh, John from California. Hi, John. And uh, I was calling in because a fellow member of our Libertarian Party had turned Democrat by listening to your show. She said, yeah, he seems to have a, a pretty good grasp on his economic situation. So she had me listen in. And I'd like to debate you on everything you've ever said at all. It just seems to me like you have a superficial economic grasp of all that's going on. And the first thing I'd like to ask you is, when has regulation ever worked? You always seem to say, when has free market never worked? When has regulation ever worked? When has regulation... Go ahead and give me any example. Uh, do you have diarrhea right now? Well, no, no. I'd like to talk on an economic... Philosophic uh, you asked me a question. Kind of you really. you asked me a question. Funny, when has regulation ever worked? And I'm asking you a yes, question. Yes, and it's far economically or encouraged during government policy. When has regulation ever worked? Yes, it just got even more wonderful from, uh, from there, folks. Uh, it turned out he did not have diarrhea. Uh, and it wasn't uh, simply because of uh, government regulation. Uh, he has his own uh, water well. And so he doesn't rely on government regulation. And then he went on to tell me, of course, that he has his uh, water tested regularly. And uh, what I neglected to say to him at the time, though there was uh, many other things that we talked about, was that um, where he gets his water tested is either certified or uncertified. If it is certified by his state, it is based upon guidelines put out by federal regulations. EPA regulations. Now, this guy would respond, had I raised this, with, well, I will just go to a testing unit. I don't need it to be regulated by the government. I can just trust that a private uh, entity could say this is a good testing place. And if it turned out to be a bad testing place, then people just wouldn't use it. Now, this is, of course, predicated on the notion that whatever is in that water that may be detrimental to this person's health, short-term or long-term, you keep drinking arsenic after a while, it will make you sick. Will you know that it came from your water? No. Will this necessarily reflect on the business that this roadside tester, <laughs> I'll test your water. Here, give me a glass. Tastes good to me. I give this a full certification from Bill's water testing spot. I don't need no government to tell me how to do it. I just did it. Uh, now, it was an amazing conversation. What's that? The best business name ever. Bill's water testing you spot. Want, that's the thing, is you want to feel like there's a one-to-one -one connection. You want to know who you're getting your water tested from. And I just so, trust that. What's that? I just trust that yes. in my gut. Why would Bill lie to you? And if he did, nobody would come and get their water tested from him. Uh, the call went on and on, and it was uh, rather fun. But um, join today. You can check it out. You go into the archives. You just listen.